Competition exam is likely custody. one of the easiest tests you'll ever take in your life. Or at least it should be. All you have to do is cover one eye at a time and recite the figures on the doctor's chart in order to figure out how good or bad your eyesight is. It might seem simple, but if some eyesight tests is are far trickier than others. A large number of people who try this particular test, for example, have more trouble than they expected. Check out the tricky test below. Do you have what it takes to pass them? Good luck, you're going to need it. When it comes to examinations, the eye exam is likely the easiest one you'll ever take, at least for those of you with good vision. Really, all you have to do is cover your eye with one hand and read a chart from top to bottom. Simple, right? Well, you might want to reconsider. As it turns out, not all eye examinations are created equal. Sure, anyone can read a bunch of letters on a board, but others require lightning fast eyes. Some of them even have a time limit. Are you ready to take an exam yourself? All you have to do is spot the hidden letter in this picture in under seven seconds and you win. But it's not as easy as you think. Go ahead, give it a shot. Did you find it? It's the letter C tucked between the bottom right corner and center of the puzzle. See, not all eye exams are as easy as others. You could even consider an optical illusion to be an eye test. In that case, there are a lot of different ways you can test your vision. Here's one vision test that stumps people on the internet left and right. First, simply stare at the large red circle for a few seconds. Now, what do you see? Don't give up too quickly or you'll miss it. You might see a little shape or even a blob, but there's more to it than that. And with the help of the outline drawn by the test designer, it soon becomes much more clear that it's actually the outline of a horse. When more details are filled in, you can really see that there was much more to the outline than just its shape. The horse is even wearing a saddle. Isn't it funny how your eyes can play tricks on you when you're not sure what you're looking at? Try another vision test. A group of doctors recently developed an eye exam that tests people's ability to detect light sensitivity. It lists five numbers, letters, or symbols in a row, each one a shade lighter than the one to its left. The images become increasingly harder to decipher as the exam goes on. People taking the exam who are able to recognize the fifth number or symbol in one of the rows are said to have higher sensitivity to color than their peers. How'd you do? Were you able to detect the last number or symbol in those sequences? Can you detect the last number in this one? If so, you likely have high sensitivity to light. If you were able to find everything in these exams, then you're a pro. Of course, not all vision tests are created equal. Some are far more challenging than others. Sometimes it's impossible to know when you're being tricked. You can take something as simple as the dress and start a raging internet debate. Similarly, can you tell why this photograph of a woman's legs is causing such a stir around the corners of the internet? They may look oily, but take a closer look. They actually just have streaks of white paint on them, making them appear to be shiny. How about this brick wall? Do you notice anything weird? Is anything sticking out to you that clearly shouldn't be there? Remember, you have to look closely or you'll miss it altogether. Okay, ready for the answer? Well, it turns out there's actually a lit cigar sticking out from between two of the bricks. Unless you're really able to unfocus your eyes, there's a good chance you didn't see it. But don't feel bad though, most people missed it the first time. This next one is definitely going to fool you. It might look like just a normal passenger seat you'd find in any modern vehicle. But do you notice something off about the pattern of the lines on the leather seat? Look closely. Couldn't find it? Here you go. This iPad has a cover very similar in appearance to the seat upholstery. The person who owns it had better be careful. If they leave it sitting on the seat like that, someone is bound to sit on it. Let's give this one a try. At first glance, you probably think you're looking at a class of young girls sitting on a bench. But once you take a look at the children's faces, you'll notice that something is off. Do they all look pretty similar? Well, there's a reason they all look so much alike, and no, they're not a gigantic group of twins. It turns out that there are actually only two people sitting in a mirrored room. Now, that definitely makes a lot more sense. Lastly, here's one that was the subject of a huge debate recently. Do you notice anything strange about any of these women sitting on the couch? Focus your attention on the third woman from the left. Where are her legs? Perhaps when the legs of these women are highlighted in separate colors, it'll be easier for you to tell whose gams belong to whom. 
Clearly, there are the correct amount of legs in the picture. It's just that the woman in the middle is hiding. How'd you do? It just goes to show that there's always more than meets the eye.